Hi! Welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you tutorial how to make Hijunka post timer using ESP device and MQTT to set up time and schedule time. This timer will turn on the lamp if the current time match with schedule of pickup Kanban, operator will press the button and start pickup Kanban activity. Let's get started. This is the list of required materials to make Hijunka post timer. You can download the detail list in an Excel file and other files, such as VBA macro Excel file to send time configuration, schematic, and Arduino files. Find the link in video description. Main parts of this timer are, real-time clock DS32-31 to to keep time updated. ESP8266 is IoT device to control the lamp. LED matrix to show time, and status. Relay and rotary lamp. Push button to turn off rotary lamp. And power supply 12 volt to power ESP and rotary lamp. This Hijunka timer is modification from my previous video about Hijunka timer using Arduino Uno. You can view the video by clicking the link at right top corner. Total budget estimation is about 690,000 rupees, or about 47 US dollar. What do you think? Is this still affordable? Okay, next is the schematic. Follow this schematic to wire all device to ESP device such as real-time clock, LED matrix, button, and relay. This is the folders, go to Excel VBA folder, and open the VBA Excel file. You can download all of these folders. First, set up your MQTT broker's IP address, username, and password. In this Excel file, you can send command to ESP device to update the time, select send time sheet, and then click send message button to set up current time of ESP device. To send list of schedule time, select send schedule sheet, fill the table of time. To view the schedule format, click message preview button. Application will generate list of time format, you can copy the time to Arduino code in schedule variable. If you want to change the schedule time, send the schedule by clicking send message button, ESP will receive the schedule, and update the schedule variable. This is detail of required material list, including the estimation price. This is Arduino folder, don't forget to copy all required libraries and library folder into your local Arduino library folder. There are two type of Arduino codes, fixed schedule, and using MQTT to change the schedule. If you want to set up fixed schedule of timer, and don't need to update the time using MQTT, please open Hijunka fixed schedule file. To change default of timer, copy format time from previous Excel file, and then paste into schedule variable, then upload the code to ESP device. If you want to change, or update the timer while device is running, you can use Hijunka MQTT file, open the file. First, set up your Wi-Fi configuration, SSID, and password, then set up the MQTT broker's IP address. Same with fixed schedule, you can change the default of time and schedule variable. To view detail of schematic or wiring, open the file in schematic folder.
This is high junk of post timer, now ESP device as default of timer. When current time match with a time in schedule variable, ESP will turn on the lamp, and show the notification in LED matrix. To turn off the lamp, press the button, LED matrix will back to show the clock. Yes. You can use it for another purpose, which is need a timer to remind an activity. Now, let's look at the details inside the box. There are ESP device, real-time clock device, relay. All powered by power supply 12 volt. Now, we will send current computer clock to ESP device, so computer, and ESP device have same clock. Open the Excel file, and click send message button. ESP will receive the message and set the real-time clock. Next, we will try to change default timer become new schedule of timer. Open the Excel file, select send schedule sheet, fill the timetable, and click send message button. ESP will receive the message and change the schedule variable based on received message. Thank you for watching. I hope this video can be useful for you all. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.